Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Daisy here. So today I just wanted to film this really dramatic cut crease New Year's glitter festive really fun dramatic smoky eye type deal. Um, so if you guys want to see how I did this, then just keep on watching. So first thing I'm going to do is my brows. So just for that, I'm just going to take the precisely my brow pencil and this is in the shade I want to say number four five just kidding shade number five I'm gonna do them a little bit more dramatic than I normally do simply because this is gonna be a pretty dramatic look for New Year's So brows are done. Next thing I'm going to do is just outline them in some concealer to make them nice and sharp. So I'm going to be using my Boing concealer for that. And just a flat little concealer brush and just kind of load that up and outline the edges. The reason I wanted to do this first is because I didn't want to have to blend all of this concealer with my eyeshadow already all done because that would be a little difficult. I feel like I would mess it up. <laughs> There's one side through the middle as well. And then I'm gonna go over the top. Then I'm going to take a little teeny, teeny, teeny blender and just start to blend them. So there's the brows finished. Next, I'm just going to take a concealer like so. This is just the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. And I'm just going to put a little bit. I'm going to use this as a primer for my eyes. Just to kind of cover up those veiny dark areas. Then I'm just gonna take that little tiny brush, uh, sponge again and blend that. I also am waiting to do my foundation. As you can see I'm not wearing any makeup on this part of my face because this is gonna be a really dramatic eye look and any fallout that you know, falls out. It's gonna be easier to wipe away with some makeup wipes if I don't have any makeup on my face. Okay, so next I'm just gonna take a little fluffy brush and I'm going in with my Swamp Queen palette. I'm gonna be mainly focusing on these shades right here today. Um, but first I'm just gonna go in and set all of that concealer with Big Baby, which is just a matte cream shade. So usually at this point I would take some tape and place it along my eye right here to help create that really sharp clean line. But since I'm not wearing any makeup on my face, I'm just going to show kind of another technique for that. You can just get as messy as you want pretty much and then take some makeup wipes. These are just little bird squeeze ones. And I'm just going to, at the end when I'm done, clean up that line with a makeup wipe. So first things first, I'm just going to take that fluffier brush and I'm going to go in with the shade Natural Peaches just because that's a really good transition color. And I'm just going to start putting that into the crease. And I'm going to kind of wing it out towards the end of my eyebrow. Just to create a general outline. And don't worry about how messy it gets out here. It's going to look kind of weird at first, but it'll get cleaned up. So then I'm going in with the shade Haunting, which is just this lighter purple shade. And I'm going to start working that into my crease. So now you can kind of see that shape that it's starting to get. 
Told you, it's gonna start looking a little funny, but we're gonna fix it, don't worry. So then I'm gonna go in with the second darkest purple shade. This is the shade Uncommon. And I'm just gonna keep making my crease darker and building and blending that color. I'm just going to start going in with a smaller shader brush and I'm going to take that same shade Uncommon but this, since this is a denser brush it's just going to apply the color a little bit more <sighs> directly I guess would be the word precisely there we go right now I'm going in with the darker shade Man Cat Finding that crease. I'm just taking a fluffier, the same fluffy one in the darker color. I'm just kind of keep building on that until I pretty much like it. I'm back, I've grabbed some darker shades so that I can make this more dramatic. So I'm just gonna go in with this L'Oreal shade. It's kind of a darker gray. And where did I put all those brushes down? Just kind of a little shader brush. That's a little bit more dense in the bristles. Taking the blending brush again. I'm just gonna work on blending that out pretty much. Now I'm just gonna go in with this little Clinique palette I got for free with my lotion purchase, and I'm just gonna go in with this really dark purple, almost black shade. Okay, then just taking that smaller, more defined brush in that same color, and just gonna darken it up a little bit more. And at this point, I'm just going to clean up the edges now with my makeup wipes. So, now you can see that really sharp line. I'm going to go in a little bit under my brow bone as well. So, now that those are nice and even, um, I'm just going to go in and start adding my highlight shades now that I've done all my shading. So just going in with this lighter pink shade from the Clinique palette, I'm just going to dip my brush in that and pop that on my brow bone. And then comes the fun part, I'm going to make my cut crease. So for that, I'm going to take my Boing Concealer and this little flat shader brush and dip that in there and I'm just gonna start shaping out my caprice. Okay, so I have that all shaped out pretty much exactly how I want it. As you can see, it's really sharp, but that's what I'm going for. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the other eye and then come right back. Okay, so I finished both eyes. This is pretty much what I have so far. And now I'm just going to go in and set that with just a nice little fluffy brush and that same big baby matte cream shade from this palette. I'm just going to pat that in. Just with this little teeny angled brush, I'm just going to go in 
one last time with that darkest shade from the Clinique palette. And I'm just gonna sharpen up the dark part of my eyes. I'm going to go in with my um, Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy shade and a flat shader brush, or more like concealer brush, and I'm going to get it wet so that it's really pigmented and really sparkly. I'm just going to start placing that where all of the lighter part of my whatever this is cut creases. Okay, so I'm back from finishing both eyes, and last but not least for the eyeshadow portion of my eye. We're going to see how this goes. I'm just going to take some NYX glitter. This is in the shade Ice. And they're just really pretty, like, iridescent. It's just so pretty. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a really pretty iridescent glitter. So I'm just going to, with that same wet brush, apply that to my eye. And then I really want to make it pop in my inner corner. So I'm just going to take some of this um, rosebud, just lip balm. It's pretty much the same thing as like Vaseline or something like that. And a little spongy. And I'm going to pop that in my inner corner just to kind of use that as a little bit of stickiness to get the glitter to stick to. I'm just going to pop that right in my inner corner. really see that glitter it almost kind of has like a green tint but it's so cool I like it then I'm gonna go in again with this little brush and just define my lash line a little bit okay and then I'm just gonna take a black pencil liner I already have an eyeliner tutorial up on my channel so I'll link that below I skip this part. I'm just gonna do it a little bit more dramatic, but it's the same concept, so I'll come back after I've done that. Alrighty, so I'm back. I'm done with my eyeliner. I just used a little drugstore one. It's so old. It's just the NYC. You can't even see it because everything's rubbed off. But um, yeah, it's just a little cheapy matte liquid liner. And now I'm just gonna do my mascara. You've probably seen that a hundred times too, so I'm not gonna film that either. And I'll be back to do my fake lashes. Okay, so I'm back. I added some mascara and I just went ahead and did my foundation because I don't know, that's kind of a personal thing. Just do what you like. If you guys want a full um, foundation routine, then just comment down below and I will certainly get that up for you. So now I'm just going to go in and apply my falsets. I'm just using some. Ardell Glamour Lashes, they're just little, pretty chunky lashes, so I'm just going to apply some glue and put those on. Alrighty, so I did both my falsies, and this is pretty much the entire look. All I have left is lips, and I'm debating on what I want to do. I'm thinking just a nice nude. So I'm just going to go in with my lip liner in the shade Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury and line my lips. And I'm going to go in with this little liquid matte lipstick from Revlon in the shade Seduction, which is perfect for New Year's. <laughs> I hope it was really helpful. I hope you guys can come up with some cool New Year's looks for yourselves. And send me a picture down below if anybody tries this because that would be cool. 
Um, but yeah, I just wanted to play with my makeup and do a really dramatic look. And of course, this is gonna go out of focus. Okay, so my battery is about to die, but this is the final look. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year.